Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Um, I hope everybody's okay. Um, it's, uh, it's very cold outside um, here in the Midlands and also cloudy today um, in Colville in the Midlands. Um, Today I'm going to be doing a budget travel special, January 2022, part one, at five exciting facts. Now this is according to nomadicmat.com. If you're new here to my channel, please subscribe. I would like to get to 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And uh, thank you for everybody that does uh, subscribe. I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel. And I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Now, um, you can read more about uh, these stories on nomadicmat.com. But I'm going to kick off um, with the uh, first uh, of the five fun facts, um, which is Newcastle upon Tyne to Krakow, Poland, and um, it's just eleven pounds. So that's really cheap. And long London to Chan I at uh, five hundred and thirty pounds. Wow, uh, very cheap um, at the moment. Number two, um, get a city tourist card. And um, if you're planning on seeing a lot of sites in the city, you should, or a city around the world, you should be able to get a city tourism card. Uh, these will offer you a discount or free access uh, to major attractions and museums, as well as free public transportation. Nomadic Matt has saved um, $100 with a London pass and $80 US dollars, uh, with a, Par a Paris Museum card and $50 with a Helsinki card. Uh, and um, tons more uh, with other cit city tourism cards as well. Wow, that's astonishing. Um, and you can also save the money in your own currency as well if you um, book a uh, city tourist uh, card. Um, they are amazing at value uh, for money and uh, to uh, save money on attractions especially like in large uh, cities um, and resorts um, and um, if that's not enough um, then you could just head to your local tourism office to find out what cards are available and um, these can help also at uh, the tourist information or the local tourism office uh, can help answer your questions and make uh, sure you save as much money as possible. Not every city has them, but most destinations, uh, for example, London do, and um, you will be able to save a lot of money if you plan on seeing the major sites or especially a lot of them in a city. Obviously, if you're just wanting to see one site um, in a city, then obviously it's not going to be much use to you. But um, if or if you only have time to see one site, but um, obviously if you're looking to, I would say, see at least two, three, four sites, then I would definitely um, look at getting a, a tourist card to save money and uh, number three take up free walking tours want to learn about the city get and, and get your bearings and see the major sites so take a free walking tour you can find them in most major cities just past the local tourist office hotel and um, hostel um, 
or your accommodation where you're staying or good or free walking tour and um, the city's name and um, you will uh, also get a solid introduction to the city while also getting access to a local guide and um, you can ask questions too i um, always start uh, visits to a new city with, with one says Matt uh, just make sure you tip your guides um, at the end uh, that's how they get paid I must admit um, I've gone on a lot of uh, free walking tours and, as well and they are great absolutely fantastic and a great way to save money and see the city at the same time Number four, get a rail passes um, if you travel by rail a lot, like rail passes like Euro Rail Pass in Europe or GR Pass in Japan are great ways to save money uh, when uh, travelling by train. Um, you can travel around the region for a while at uh, rail passes. Um, are likely to be much cheaper than uh, booking individual trips and um, if you uh, book individual trips and um, if you book ahead uh, you can usually save about 50% of uh, the cost um, of a train ticket however you are committed to that uh, day and time uh, to travel uh, that basically fixes you uh, to that day and time and um, if you do not want to be tied down and um, to fix the schedules a uh, rail passes can save you a lot of money while giving you the flexibility you need Matt says um, he has uh, saved hundreds of dollars um, in Europe doing this and you can also save a lot of money in your own currency as well uh, last but not least um, cook your own meals the best way to save money on the road is to cook um, all your own meals I remember um, when as a family um, I went abroad um, with mum, dad and my brother and um, mum cooked um, a lot of the meals uh, for us and um, that way to uh, save mo money instead of eating out all the time even though we did eat out some of the time a lot of the time she did cook the meals for us when we stayed in apartments um, unless it was that cheap um, like when uh, we went on holiday to Orlando um, and we stayed in a motel we did just eat out all the time because it was a lot cheaper um, and just cheap to eat out but a lot of the time when we went on self-catering holidays um, whether it would be in the, a caravan in the UK or apartments abroad then mum did cook um, a lot of the meals um, herself and um, when we was uh, kids and um, so I would like to say thank you for watching um, I love speaking about travel and lifestyle and um, I'll see you on Sunday for my improvements updates and more so please keep watching and don't forget um, you can watch um, any of the other video videos on my channel and I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye